Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel how you doing hope you're okay comment down below how you are today i'm such an idiot hey guys so there's nearly 80 subscribers on this channel which is absolutely amazing and just wow like i don't even know what to say but thank you so because there's like when I say almost 80, I mean like one away from 80, which is crazy, like so crazy. Um, because there's like so many of you now, I thought I'd do a, a getting to know me question tag thing. It's like an extended version. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, like. It's an extended version for 2019. And seeing as we're still in 2019, which um, we're not going to be for much longer because it's getting so close to Christmas I thought I'd do a getting to know me extended tag just because there's so many of us now cray 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 so I googled these questions and I'm going to answer them I think there's about 30 of them so yeah let's see what I can answer these are not pre-read so I don't really know I've not like thought of the answers so that's gonna be fun but yeah let's get into it oh, such amazing vocals I should go on X Factor I can't sing <laughs> so question number one what is your favorite Netflix blah, blah, blah. well that came to a great start I can't even speak number one what is your favorite Netflix show I don't think I Mm, show includes series because I have like two favourite series. We're just going to go with series because like, surely that's a show. It's not like a movie. Anyway, my favourite series, I've got two, like I can't decide out of the two, is either Pretty Little Liars or 13 Reasons Why. Number two, it actually says show us your songs tab on Spotify. I don't actually have Spotify so I can't actually show that one to you guys because i've not got it number three what is the craziest thing you have done i'm pretty crazy and i've probably done quite a lot of crazy things in my lifetime i think the i don't actually know the craziest thing is probably paragliding at the moment because oh no i've done so oh, actually yeah like seven or eight we went to lakeside which is like this adventure thing and is like this i'd probably say like Mm, not bungee, it's not bungee jumping like abseiling and I've done like this thing called king swing where you're like attached to two trees with some rope in a harness and you're like you get pulled up and you'll pull this trigger and you just swing between these two trees um I don't know I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a daredevil when it comes to stuff like that I like to try new things so yeah I've done quite a few Number four is describe your first crush. I'm not gonna lie, my first crush, I don't think I, to be fair, like it was in year six, but I didn't actually like fancy him, he fancied me. And then it just got to the point where I just said yes to going out with him and it was just a stupid relationship. And it lasted for like five days because we were on a trip and it was from a different school. And yeah, <laughs> it just happened. But my actual first crush was in, primary school um but I can't remember much of it I just remember that on Valentine's Day we I sent him a Valentine's Day card with the register because my mum works in the office so she could arrange that and then he found out it was me and he was like ew and yeah just you know like the little stupid like crushes in primary school that was that that was it <laughs> number five what theme parks have you been to I've been to Camelot Gulliver's World Alton Towers, um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Le um, oh, what's it called? Um, I'm going to have to Google it because I can't remember the name of it. 
I remember the name of one of the rides though. Lightwater Valley. I think that's it. Oh, now I've lost my questions because I went off it. Hmm, found it. Yeah, I would. I go to quite a lot of theme parks. I absolutely love them and I, love, I would happily try out like new ones. I just love rides and I know my friends do as well. So that's pretty good because then we can go to wherever we want to go basically. <laughs> Number six, who was your childhood best friend? Her name is Emily and we are still best friends to this day. So that is amazing. Like we don't see each other as often as we'd like to, but yeah, we're still best friends and we still class each other as sisters. So I'm very happy with that because she's amazing. Number seven, what is your favorite genre of film and why? Mine's gotta be either probably like mystery or like comedy. I like mystery because I like to try and figure out things before like, I like to be like I like to act like a detective and um, figure out what the mis like who who it was that killed somebody or whatever. Um, yeah, I just like to do that. And then comedy because I like funny films. I don't do scary films. Um, I actually get tricked into watching scary films with my friends. They pick like a title that doesn't sound scary, and then I don't. They know that I'm just not gonna look it up and then just go. And then they'll tell me once I bought the ticket and I'm sat in the cinema. So I'm like, thanks guys. Number eight, what was your dream job as a kid? And I believe that it was actually a clown, which I don't know why, because I'm scared of clowns now, but yeah, there's like a time capsule thing that I've got from like when I was in year six and I opened it in college. And it said, when I grow up, when I, grow up I want to be a clown. Hmm, what was I thinking? <laughs> what is your coffee order? I don't actually drink coffee, I drink tea, but I do love hot chocolate. Number 10, what is your favourite thing to order on Uber Eats? Well, the only thing I really order on Uber Eats is a McDonald's breakfast when I'm not at home, when I'm out travelling. Me and my sisters just tend to order a Mackey's breakfast in from Uber Eats, so we'll go with that. Number 11, have you moved home? Where to and how was the experience? I have not moved home. I would love to move home. I just can't afford it and yeah. Just really can't afford it so I'm still at home with my mum and dad and yeah I just wish I could move out but I just it's just not realistic at the moment number 12 is have you ever failed at anything and what did you learn I hmm I mean I fell off a horse once is that like a fail I don't think I have failed anything I probably like I didn't even fail GCSEs I just took them early so I could reset them because we knew that I'd have to reset them to get the grade that I needed. I haven't, I don't know, I wouldn't class anything that I failed, but I am a very hard worker when it comes to, if I want to achieve something, I will achieve it kind of thing. Um, but I don't actually think I failed anything. Oh, I failed my theory. For the first time I took it, I failed it, but I think that's just because I didn't really like, didn't really like revise, like, I was one of them people that was just like, I'll just take it and see what happens. And obviously I learned to like actually revise and actually care about it <laughs> and then I passed it. So yeah, that's probably the only thing that I've actually failed. I don't think I've actually failed anything else. Number 13 is how many countries have you travelled to? And I've travelled to Spain twice, Greece once, back to England. And then if we're classing Wales and Scotland as countries. I've also been there. So five, including Wales and Scotland. Number 14, who is your celebrity crush? I don't, oh. <laughs> I don't have one. I could be lying right there, but I can't say. Cause I don't know if his class is a celebrity or not. Like, mm. I mean, Zac Efron's pretty fit. So I do quite, I fancy Zac Efron, I'll go with Zac Efron. But, you know, I'm pretty sure Zac Efron's announced that he's gay recently, so that's a bit of a bummer, but hey ho. He's still a crush of mine and he will forever be a crush of mine, so yeah. Number 15, do you have any pets? If so, show them to us. No, I don't. I've had pets in the past. I've had rabbits, fish, I've had a parrot. Um, but yeah, sadly, like, they all died, so we don't actually have any more. Which is annoying because I really want a little doggy. Number 16, what are your pet peeves? Probably people chewing really loud and breathing really heavy down your ears. Like, oh, just like, 
why like you like i wouldn't do it to them like they probably wouldn't like it but they do it oh it's just it's so irritating number 17 what do you do in your free time obviously i do youtube in my free time um and i also dance in my free time i want to get back into horse riding but they're the two that I do at the moment and hang out with friends as well because that's always like the best thing to do. Um, have some me time. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I want I want to start musically, but it's not even musically anymore, it's TikTok. Old school. Um, but I don't know where to start, so hmm. Number 18, do you have any weird quirks? Oh, I don't think so. I don't yeah i don't think so i'm just weird in general so <laughs> number 19 is what's your favorite color and my favorite color is pink and it has been for a while now so yeah i don't think it's ever going to change number 20 is do you have any siblings and yes i do i have an older sister called tracer she has a channel called totally music which i will link down below and yeah you should definitely check her out because she's amazing and she's in actually started interviewing upcoming bands which is pretty cool like i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit jealous but that's her thing um and yeah like she's three years older and yeah Number 21 is, do you know your personality type and what is it? Um, basically, like, fun, outgoing, um, doesn't take life too seriously, and likes to have a laugh. Yeah. Number 22 is, have you been to any concerts or festival and festivals and which were the most memorable? Yes, I have. I've been to a lot of them in my time. I'm going to say that... Um, the most memorable is probably, oh, I've got quite a few. My most memorable one from like a while ago is when The Wanted was around. And it was actually when it was their last ever concert because it was just so memorable. And like everybody was crying, they were crying. You could tell that they didn't actually want it to be the last one. And I don't know, it's just, it's just stuck with me for a while. And then also the fact that Kovic and I literally my favorite band and also like any of their shows has been memorable because it's just such an amazing thing to see them going bigger and bigger every time i go and see them and also the first time i went to see demi lovato because she is my favorite singer and it was the first ever time i went to see her recently and oh my god she's amazing and she did like an extra song for the 22 people that we lost at manchester arena and yeah like that was such a memorable show as well and yeah like they're the probably the three that are the most memorable and i but i have been to quite a lot of concerts and i've got a lot more coming up as well so that's cool number 23 uh is what are your favorite valuables in friend values in friends um just like be I've, they're always there if you know about what time of day it is um if you've don't speak to them for a while and then you see them you've it's just like you've never been apart and obviously sharing a lot of interest as well um and yeah just somebody that you can be yourself around and um relax enjoy yourself um not bother what how like you act around him like if you act daft or anything embarrassing happens like it doesn't matter because you're all in it together number 24 is what is one thing you wished people knew about you I don't know I'm kind of an open book um I do wish people knew how sensitive I was though because I might come across not that sensitive but anything could make me like want to cry like I am quite a very sensitive person but I am also very outgoing so like yeah it's a bit of like one extreme to the other <laughs> number 25 is what social media are you addicted to and I've got to say YouTube obviously and probably instagram i use instagram quite a lot more than i do with like facebook or twitter so yeah number 26 is how do you get along with your family i get along pretty well right you know it's a bit annoying like everybody has their arguments but yeah i just i'm a pretty funny person if i do say so myself and we like to have a laugh so we get on pretty well more than pretty well 
we get on really well <laughs> number 27 is what is the biggest struggle you've had to overcome um not sure it was probably when my grand sadly passed away but that was like two years ago so that's the only thing i can think of really uh 28 who is who is your role model um demi lovato doesn't say explain but i have my reasons number 29 is you went out with your friends describe your night oh our night is probably going out like having fun letting our hair down getting drunk well tipsy <laughs> um and yeah just like having a really good time having the best time of our lives not caring what people think and yeah and the last question is what is your hap no i'm saying it wrong number <laughs> the last question number 30 oh, is what are your happiest with oh, i can't speak last question is what are you happiest with in your life everything i don't have any regrets everything happens for a reason and yeah just go with it see where it takes you obviously work hard for what you want and stuff like that and yeah i could go deep but i'm not gonna because this is about me and yeah it could be boring but yeah mm -mm -mm. i'm in such a weird mood why am i always in a weird mood when i'm filming anyway so that is it guys why again with the accent sarah like everybody thinks it's stupid with the accent like come on yeah so that is everything i need to stop like i get so weird when i'm on camera because i just think no one's here i'm talking to myself like what let's take a sip of my brew anyway i'm going to stop because i am weird like i said yo 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 oh that looked weird <laughs> anyway get normal sarah get normal anyway so that is the 30 questions about me i just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that has subscribed in fact i just got a notification that somebody retweeted my tweet about one away from eight so let's see if i'm at it 79 yeah so i need to stop so many apps open my phone so that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed um if you have any more questions for me let me know down below because that'd be like super awesome but i thought i'd just do this because i have way more subscribers than the first one that i did which is my very first video so i just thought like reintroduce myself my name is sarah sarah louise like the name of my channel sarah why are you doing that again people are gonna be so offended by my accents because i'm just rubbish at them anyway so yeah hope you guys enjoy if you have any questions that you would like to ask me put them down below and I will answer them and yeah also follow me on my socials insta and twitter they'll be on the end slate after this um I'm trying to use twitter a bit more it's very hard especially working in retail when you can't actually use your phone and in there 36 and a half hours a week so that is cool but yeah if you have any video suggestions please let me know down in the comments below and thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed like i just can't believe how many subscribers i've got in such a small amount of time and oh, yeah i like my dream goal is to hit 100 like that is literally just my dream goal but because like i say i don't do it for the subscribers but i just really want that url not gonna lie i'm being real with you yeah i want my own url and i have to have 100 subscribers for that so that's pretty awesome but yeah if you would like to see any specific video i'm actually pretty proud that i just pronounced that correctly because normally it takes me a few chances a few tries so yeah if you'd like any suspicious see you can't say it now specific videos please let me know any suggestions are down below because i will take them into consideration me coming out with the big words today Way. um yeah so comment them down below take them into consideration and yeah if you're new as well please hit my subscribe button be that 80th 
subscriber that'd be amazing and yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you loved it put put it up put it up <laughs> click that thumbs up button and subscribe like i've said about a million times now because it's free and you don't have to pay like genuinely free and i know there's a lot of people that do watch these videos that i'm not subscribed so hey what are you doing who didn't know and yeah thank you so much for watching i can't believe i've just spent 24 minutes filming this because i'm just so crazy but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week with another video bye